The five pillars are the core beliefs and practices of Islam. The five pillars of Islam are the framework of a Muslim's life. They are the testimony of faith, prayer, giving zakat, support of the needy, fasting during Ramadan, and the pilgrimage to Mecca, at least once in their lifetime, for those who are able. 1. Profession of Faith Shahada The belief that there is no God but God, and Muhammad is the messenger of God, is central to Islam. The testimony of faith is saying with conviction, There is no one worthy of worship but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The first part, there is no true God but God, means that none has the right to be worshipped but God alone, and that God has neither a partner nor son. This testimony of faith is called the Shahada, a simple formula that should be said with conviction to convert to Islam. The testimony of faith is the most important pillar of Islam. 2. Prayer Salat Muslims pray facing Mecca five times a day, at dawn, noon, mid-afternoon, sunset, and after dark. Prayer includes a recitation of the opening chapter of the Quran and is sometimes performed on a small rug or mat used expressly for this purpose. Muslims can pray individually at any location or together in a mosque where a leader in prayer guides the congregation. In prayer, a person feels inner happiness, peace, and comfort in that God is pleased with him or her. The Prophet Muhammad said, Bilal, call the people to prayer. Let us be comforted by it. Bilal was one of Muhammad's companions who was in charge of calling the people to prayers. Men gather in the mosque for the noonday prayer on Friday. Women are welcome but not obliged to participate. After the prayer, a sermon focuses on a passage from the Quran followed by prayers by the imam and a discussion of a particular religious topic. 3. Alms Sagat In accordance with Islamic law, Muslims donate a fixed portion of their income to community members in need. Many rulers and wealthy Muslims built mosques, drinking fountains, hospitals, schools, and other institutions as a religious duty and to secure the blessings associated with the charity. All things belong to God, and wealth is therefore held by human beings in trust. The original meaning of the word zakat is both purification and growth. Giving zakat means giving a specified percentage on certain properties to certain classes of needy people. The percentage due on gold, silver, and cash funds that have reached the amount of about 85 grams of gold and held in possession for one lunar year is 2.5%. Our possessions are purified by setting aside a small portion for those in need. And like the pruning of plants, this cutting back balances and encourages new growth. 4. Fasting Psalm During the daylight hours of Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, all healthy adult Muslims are required to abstain from food and drink. Through this temporary deprivation, they renew their awareness of and gratitude for everything God has provided, including the Quran, which was first revealed during this month. During Ramadan, they share the hunger and thirst of the needy as a reminder of the religious duty to help those less fortunate. 5. The Pilgrimage to Mecca The annual pilgrimage, Hajj to Mecca, is an obligation once in a lifetime for those who are physically and financially able to perform it. About two million people go to Mecca each year from every corner of the globe. Although Mecca is always filled with visitors, the annual Hajj is performed in the twelfth month of the Islamic calendar. Male pilgrims wear special simple clothes which strip away any distinctions of class and culture so that they stand equal before God. The rites of the Hajj include circling the Kaaba seven times and going seven times between the hillocks of Safa and Marwa, as Hagar did during her search for water. Then the pilgrims stand together in Arafa and ask God for what they wish and for His forgiveness in what is often thought of as a preview of the Day of Judgment.
The end of the Hajj is marked by a festival, Eid al-Adha, which is celebrated with prayers. This and Eid al-Fitr, a feast day commemorating the end of Ramadan, are the two annual festivals of the Muslim calendar.